one of the most memorable UFO conventions of all time took place between August 7 and 8 of 1954. The event was held on the top of Mount Palomar in the United States, at an altitude of more than 1,800 meters. This convention was promoted by three of the most famous contactees, George Adamski, Truman Bethurum and Daniel Fry. More than a thousand people, including journalists from around the world, FBI agents, UFO witnesses, as well as many curious people attended the event. Each of the contactees shared their own experience. In Adamski's turn, the teacher explained that Venusians were very much like humans, so much so that they had infiltrated our society and were living in big cities. He also presented a painting with an artistic representation of a Venusian. At the end of the first day, there was a stir when the audience noticed an unusual presence of a beautiful woman in the company of two men. One of the men wore glasses, the three were light-skinned and the woman had blonde hair, but oddly, her eyes were black and intense. She had excessive cranial formation, and a strange bone mark on the forehead. The woman was described with peculiar physic characteristics, protruding bone structure in the middle of the forehead, extending to the nasal form, and deep black eyes with large eyelashes. Their features resembled the description presented hours before by Speaker Adamski, as the type of aliens that came from Venus and walked among us. The rumor in the crowd spread that they were Venusians in disguise. One of the participants asked them, Are you or are you not Venusians? The woman smiling calmly replied, No. The participant then dialogued with the woman, why are you here? Because we are interested in the subject. Do you believe in flying saucers? Yes. Is it true what Mr. Adamski says, that they come from Venus? Yes, they come from Venus, the woman replied. A Brazilian journalist named Joao Martins was also present at the convention and also interviewed them. Upon researching, Martins discovered that the woman's name was Dolores Barrios, a fashion designer from New York, and her friends were Donald Morand and Bill Jackmart, both musicians living in Manhattan Beach, California, as they claimed while signing the guest book. Martins asked if he could photograph them, but they refused. They were irritated at being called Venusians. According to Martins, Dolores Barrios looked a lot like the painting Adamski had shown. The next day, at the end of the meeting, Martins photographed Dolores using a flash, surprising her. Then he took photos of her two friends in a hurry. After that, the trio ran to the forest. Soon afterward, a flying saucer took off, but the witness could not capture a photo. Nobody ever came forward, claiming they knew or recognized the strange people in the photos. Then who are they really? Some researchers affirmed that Dolores Barrios was real, however, she was an average person, not a Venusian, lived a good life, married, raised a large family, and passed away in 2008. While some conspiracy theorists claim that she was a Cold War spy, another group of UFO researchers still maintains the possibility that Dolores Barrios could be a disguised alien. According to them, the name Dolores Barrios belonged to a deceased woman. A common practice used by the mob and Cold War spies was to take a new identity at the time. The truth? The truth may lie in a locked drawer of a family that only wants to preserve the memory of their loved ones. What do you think? Please comment, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching this video.